So I got pregnant by my boyfriend when I was 16, which was pretty dumb, but my parents tried to force me to give the baby up for adoption. Instead, I married him, and now I'm planning to keep my baby. Now, I've got a different story to tell. I hooked up with a guy from work. I'm 16, and he's 18, about to graduate and join the military. We're not in a relationship or anything, just friends who flirt. I lost my virginity to him, but it wasn't a one-time thing. We've had sex multiple times. Currently, I'm 15 weeks pregnant. My parents know, he knows. And although I'm hiding it from a lot of people, some folks are aware. Honestly, I feel like a complete idiot. It's embarrassing and I feel like a joke. I just wanna stay inside until the baby is born. My parents are basically forcing me to give the baby up for adoption. I live in a state with heavy abortion restrictions and it's too late to get one now anyways. Plus, my parents are totally against it. They told me this pregnancy is my punishment. They've already set up a meeting with an adoption agency and are adamant that I give the baby away. They say they won't let me ruin my life with a baby and they aren't going to raise it either. So they think adoption is the only option. My mom keeps saying, you'll thank us later. I didn't get pregnant on purpose and I don't really wanna be a mom right now. I'll be 17 soon and starting my junior year. And the idea of going through pregnancy and birth just to give my baby away terrifies me. It makes me feel like I wanna throw up or pass out I feel like I have no choice but to go along with what my parents want. I can't support myself, let alone a baby. I was too scared to get an abortion earlier on, before I told my parents. Now, I realize that might have been the easiest thing for me. If anyone reading this has given a baby up for adoption and survived it, please share your experience. Do you get over it? Do you feel like it's the best thing for both of you? And can you live with it? To answer some common questions, I know raising a baby by myself isn't really possible without a lot of help, which my parents won't provide. So I'm kind of stuck with one option. The father of the baby knows I'm pregnant and that my parents are pushing for adoption. I think he's relieved they're taking charge because he doesn't want to be a parent either. He says it's probably the best thing regarding any legal action against the father. He just turned 18 and my parents don't want to involve him. They're mad at him, but want to keep him out of it so no one interferes with their plan. Update. I'm 20 weeks pregnant now, about to turn 17. My parents are still dead set on the adoption. We've met with an adoption agency and the counselor knows I don't wanna give my baby away. She talked to me privately and seemed sympathetic, but told me I ultimately have to sign the papers after the birth. My parents can't sign for me. The counselor also mentioned the option of my parents adopting the baby, which they aren't interested in either. They want me to look at potential families, but it's so weird to think about someone else raising my baby. I know I'm not ready to be a mom, but none of this feels real. I talked to the baby's father. He graduated high school and is leaving for basic training soon. He thinks adoption is probably the best option too. We could get married for the military benefits, but we don't love each other, and that doesn't seem right. Another option might be his parents helping out until I could get married without needing consent, but that doesn't seem fair to them. His parents seem like good people and believe it should be our decision. But my parents think it's their job to protect me even if it means making all the decisions. Finally, about the ideal adoption situation. I can't fully accept the idea of adoption, but I think two gay guys or maybe two lesbians would be ideal. They seem more genuine than straight couples, though it feels like nobody is good enough for my baby. I know it might sound irrational, but it's really hard to think about someone else raising your child. Oh man, where do I even start? It's so tough trying to pick the right family for your baby, especially when you're still only halfway through your pregnancy. I'm just 20 weeks in, not even close to 38, so there's no rush to make a decision yet. Some folks take longer to pick out their next car. And let's be real, I didn't exactly choose adoption as my first option, but now that I'm here, I need to be super picky. This could be the biggest decision of my life, and it's pretty much the only part of the whole adoption process where I get to have a say. I had an ultrasound on Friday and found out I'm having a baby boy. It's wild. He's fully formed, just needs to grow a bit more. I saw his head, his nose, and even got a cute picture of his feet. It's like little footprints. Seeing his hands and everything just made it so real. Anyway, people keep sending me info about abortion, but let's put that to rest. I know everyone means well, but it's too late for that now. He's no longer just a lump of cells. He's my baby, and I've already named him. Thinking about abortion now just messes with my head even more. If it was earlier maybe, but now, no way. I can't imagine going through that mentally. 
I don't want to give him up for adoption. He's my baby. I can't bear the thought of handing him over to someone else. I know I messed up. Shouldn't have had sex. Should have done something sooner. You name it. But here I am. My parents are super against the baby's father being involved, even though he's offered to marry me. They're furious I even considered it. I've talked to the baby's father about keeping our son, and he said he wouldn't hate me for it. Still, I worry he might blame me for complicating his life. He thinks adoption is the best route and doesn't see us as a couple since he's leaving soon. I get it, and I know I'm not the only girl he's been with. The idea of us being married seems far-fetched, but maybe it's what we have to do for our baby. The whole situation is so weird and I have hardly any options. His parents are willing to help, which is more than I can say for mine. He's military bound, just started basic training, and the idea is we'll get married around his graduation unless he changes his mind. We couldn't do it before he left anyway. His tech school is over a year long, so either the baby and I move with him, or we stay with his family until he's stationed somewhere permanently. That way, I could finish high school instead of getting a GED, since my parents won't sign the papers for it. I don't get my parents at all. They'd rather I get married and live with another family than let me stay home with my baby until I finish school and turn 18. It makes no sense, but here we are. If you're looking to adopt, please don't message me here. I'll just delete those messages. It's creepy. And if I do put my son up for adoption, it won't be to someone I met online. Sorry, but that's how it is. So yeah, that's the update. I'm 24 weeks pregnant now, my parents are pushing for adoption, and I'm just trying to figure out how to keep my baby and stay sane. Only time will tell, I guess. Hey, so here's the deal. If it came down to my 17-year-old either getting married and moving across the country or supporting her decision to keep her baby and finding resources to help her parent, I know which way I'd go as a parent, and it wouldn't be marriage. It's so painful because they've basically said that if he's going to marry me and his family is going to help us, then I'm not their problem anymore. So they'll sign off on that. They yelled at me, called me names, and locked me in my room. I could go back to being the daughter they love if I just followed their plan, but things will never be the same between us again. His parents were actually the ones who convinced mine to approve the marriage. We all met together, and they've been the only ones advocating for me. They want me to finish school, help me with childcare, and I'm going to move in with them before the baby is born. I'll take my newborn baby to their house, which is super weird because I don't even know these people. It's strange and uncomfortable, but I can't be picky right now. Luckily, the baby will be covered by his dad's insurance, and I'll be covered once we're married. I'm not relying solely on military benefits, though. It's just part of the plan. After I graduate, I plan to get certified in something with good career prospects and decent pay. I want to be smart about my field and find grants or scholarships to help out. My parents want me to go to a traditional four-year college. And yeah, I'm in honors classes and scored high on the PSAT, but I'm not interested in any career fields that make college worth it financially. Unless I get a huge scholarship, I'd be buried in student loans. So I'm exploring other options to start my career sooner without so much debt. Honestly, I'm really scared. I've never had to do any adult stuff. I feel like I've blown up my whole life by getting pregnant and not going with my parents' plan. I don't even feel like I have parents anymore. I never thought my family would end up like this. Sometimes I just want to go along with their plan because it would be easier and I could go back to my old life and have their love and support again. But I think I'd regret it. Adoption wouldn't be easy for me either, but it might make day-to-day -day life easier. Still, I think I'd grow up hating myself for it because I'd never be able to undo it. What I'm doing now is the only option that I think I won't spend my life regretting. At least it won't make me feel like a coward. I still feel sick thinking about everything. Moving in with strangers, getting married, eventually moving across the country, and being a mom and wife before I can even legally drink alcohol. Although moving across the country doesn't sound so bad right now. I just don't know what I'm doing and probably taking on too much, but it still makes me happier than thinking I'd have no choice but to sign adoption papers. Update. Since then, I've received over 100 DMs, and some are really long. I'm overwhelmed but some people have been incredibly nice, and I've even cried happy tears over some messages. I can't believe how supportive some complete strangers are. It means a lot because I don't have a lot of support in real life and feel very alone, even though his parents wanna help. Some messages try to convince me to choose adoption, and some are downright cruel. The most disturbing ones are from people wanting to adopt my baby despite me asking them to stop. So I'll say it again, I'm not giving my baby up for adoption.
If I did, I definitely wouldn't choose someone who sent me an unsolicited message. I know it's going to be very hard, but I'm committed to my decision and moving forward, even if I'm scared to death. What's helpful now is info for military spouses, resources, and career suggestions. I'm not planning to go to a four-year college right away, but maybe later if it fits my life. For now, I want to get training and certifications for a good job that I can enter quickly and that pays well. Parenting advice, especially for newborns, would be appreciated. Quick question, do I get a white dress for the courthouse wedding? My parents would say no, but they don't get a say. I feel kind of silly wearing white though. I'm not talking a formal wedding gown, just something simple. I don't think being married, being a parent, or being a military spouse will be like a Hallmark movie, but I think this is my best option. We're getting married. It's not something we're just considering. This is our plan. I know he could change his mind, and we'll deal with that if it happens. I'll be going to his graduation with his parents, and we will get married that weekend. And then I'll return home with his parents and live with them until I move to wherever he's stationed so we can both raise our son. His parents shouldn't be my co-parents and there's no other way for him to be involved if I'm not where he's at. He says this is his responsibility, and he wants to be a good dad. At home, things are really tense with my parents. They keep reminding me how stupid my plan is, and that I'll be doing this all alone without their support. I spend most of my time in my room and am grateful for my part-time job. I have a lot of research and planning to keep me busy. Also, it wasn't statutory rape. He was 17 when I got pregnant, just days before he turned 18. We both screwed up. I'm not doing this to have a baby to play with. I know it's going to be the hardest thing I've ever done and could break me, but I love my baby boy and I'm going to do whatever I have to for him. This isn't the life I wanted, but it's the one I chose. 